The U.S. Navy, recognized as the most formidable naval force in the world, is home to the largest warship ever constructed, the impressive USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier. Measuring an astounding 1,106 feet in length and displacing over 100,000 tons when fully laden, she embodies the pinnacle of naval engineering. However, at the other end of the spectrum, the U.S. Navy also houses the Booming Beaver, the smallest military vessel in the world. The 19-foot-long tugboat may seem diminutive, yet she plays a crucial role in ensuring the seamless operation of the planet's most powerful navy. Remarkably, her origins can be traced back to a world far removed from military harbors. Unsung Heroes Tugboats, small yet powerful, play a crucial role in the everyday operations of naval fleets, such as the U.S. Navy, engaging in a variety of indispensable functions. Their primary role involves managing the intricate maneuvering of enormous naval vessels like aircraft carriers within confined spaces like harbors or near docks. Tugboats provide the agility and power to ensure the safe docking and undocking of these capital ships, thereby preventing potential collisions and preserving the structural integrity of significant naval assets. Harbors, designed to deter enemy ships, often incorporate underwater barriers, and tugboats are responsible for controlling them, allowing the passage of allied ships and preventing enemy incursions, thus providing round-the-clock protection to warships. Outside harbor confines, tugboats assist in towing operations. In cases where a naval ship is incapacitated, tugboats can tow them away from danger or toward a repair dock, a vital operation in military contexts. Emergency and salvage operations further illustrate the value of these small ships. They are equipped to respond swiftly to maritime disasters, such as a grounded ship, an onboard fire, or other calamities. The response and capabilities can prevent further damage, save lives, and salvage inestimable equipment. The roles of tugboats also extend to logistics and supply chain functions in the Navy. They can transport cargo, supplies, or personnel between ships or from ship to shore, making them an essential component of naval logistics. They also participate in naval training exercises, simulating various conditions or scenarios that might arise in real naval operations. The Navy often deploys specialized tugboats for specific military tasks, expanding their use beyond civilian contexts. With their compact size, powerful engines, and exceptional maneuverability, tugboats are designed to navigate the tight spaces of the world's busiest harbors and orchestrate the safe and efficient positioning of large ships. Plot Twist In the early years of the new millennium, as modern life began to reshape traditional industries, a noticeable slowdown affected various sectors. Even the forest industry, deeply rooted in tradition, felt the impact of this emerging era. For over a decade, the once thriving Chuck's Boat and Drive Company experienced a prolonged period of sluggishness, mirroring the lethargy that had befallen their entire trade, once vibrant and bustling, but presently trapped in a state of stagnation. However, this was not the end of the story. The company, nestled in the heart of Longview, Washington, was rooted in the aspirations of a man named Chuck Slape. Chuck possessed a deep understanding of the trade, as he had cut his teeth in the early days of boom boats in Coos Bay. Driven by a desire to forge his own path, he ventured to the Washington side of the Columbia River and founded his own business. Chuck's Boat and Drive Company became renowned for crafting a diverse range of boats, with one particular creation gaining immense popularity the innovative azimuthing drive log bronc. Aptly named after the boat's captivating maneuver, the operator deftly spun the steering wheel 180 degrees, causing the petite yet sturdy 12 to 16 foot boats to rear up like spirited rodeo horses. But then all of a sudden came the largest order ever in the history of the company, and it emerged from an unlikely client. an endearing moniker. In the vast expanse of the United States, a growing concern for port security had taken hold in the early 2000s. This heightened awareness 
prompted the implementation of innovative measures around vital naval docks. Enter the Port Security Barriers, or PSB, a fleet of floating booms strategically placed to safeguard these key areas. Even so, the challenge remained in finding a suitable vessel capable of maneuvering and controlling these booms. It was then that U.S. military officials were directed towards an unexpected source of expertise, the illustrious Chuck's Boat and Drive Company, renowned for their mastery in crafting robust boats for the demanding task of transporting mammoth West Coast logs in booming grounds. Thus, the remarkable Booming Beaver came into existence, deriving her name from her roots in the logging industry. These tugboats were initially designed to gather and tow floating logs, akin to how beavers skillfully manipulate sticks along a stream. The nickname swiftly permeated through the ranks, with sailors assuming that the Navy's official designation for the vessel, 19BB, also stood for this endearing moniker. In reality, however, it denoted the vessel's role as a barrier boat. As it transpired, these diminutive 19-foot mini tugboats held a pivotal role in safeguarding their larger counterparts. Their primary duty involved deploying, operating, and maintaining the underwater barriers surrounding esteemed ships, such as USS Constitution, a venerable wooden frigate with a storied history spanning 223 years. The Beaver's compact size rendered her ideal for such a crucial mission. Additionally, her deck sits notably close to the water's surface, affording the two to five crew members the ability to diligently tend to and skillfully manage the protective barriers, ensuring the safety of the ships within their charge. Curiously enough, it wasn't until much later, in the 2020s, that the small vessels captured the attention of naval buffs all over the internet. As a Reddit user noted, quote, it's the equivalent of opening the gate for cattle to go in and out. Unlock it, unlatch it, swing it open, and close it when the ship has passed. A tiny powerhouse. Despite her endearing appearance, the booming beaver tugboat boasts a remarkable set of specifications and has the extraordinary capacity to manipulate the massive underwater barriers in naval harbors and tow warships many times their size. Constructed with a robust, welded steel frame and an aluminum pilot house, the booming beaver can comfortably house a crew of two operators. Her bow features a rubber fender specifically designed for pushing security booms or floating debris, and encircling the hull's perimeter, starting from the starboard side of the rubber fender on the bow and ending at the port side of the fender, is a protective rubber guard strip. Two secondary guard strips, one each on the port and starboard sides, are positioned above the primary guard for additional protection. Additionally, the boat's propulsion system is powered by an impressive Cummins 6 BTA 5.9 260 horsepower inboard diesel engine. This is a significant amount of horsepower for a vessel of her size, but it's necessary to push enormous objects, whether they are oversized lumber logs, underwater barriers, or large warships. To put it into perspective, larger fishing vessels rarely require more than a 65 to 150 horsepower propulsion system, while the booming beaver uses her extra force to perform her barrier-pushing tasks efficiently. The powerful engine occupies most of the interior space of this diminutive vessel, which measures only 19 feet in length and displaces a total of 22,000 pounds of water when fully loaded. And although she can move heavy objects, the booming beaver is not built for speed. Her maximum velocity is a modest seven knots. The lack of speed, however, is no drawback. Tugboat's compact size, rugged construction, and powerful engine contribute to creating an extremely stable, solidly built, and highly maneuverable vessel. This makes the booming beaver perfectly suited to her primary mission of manipulating the underwater barriers in U.S. Navy harbors. The Fading Legacy Despite her remarkable technical attributes, exceptional performance, and endearing aesthetics, the barrier boat class, to which the booming beaver belongs, would not continue to serve the U.S. Navy in large quantities for long. In the early 2000s, the U.S. Navy had planned to acquire at least 40 models from the logging industry. However, as time passed, the anticipated acquisitions did not materialize, and the Navy found itself with only a handful of boats. In 2006, 
one of the few remaining tugboats was auctioned off for an impressive $100,025, a striking amount for such a compact vessel. This transaction further reduced the already dwindling fleet of booming beavers. As decommissioning continues, sightings of these iconic ships will become increasingly rare. According to Colleen O'Rourke, a spokeswoman for Naval Sea Systems Command, the fleet only amounts to 10 examples, some of which can be found at Point Loma Sub Base in California, Naval Base Kitsap Banger, and Naval Base San Diego. Currently, the world's smallest military vessel continues to capture attention as an object of admiration, proudly holding the esteemed title of the tiniest ship. However, when it comes to pondering whether this unassuming craft could harbor the potential to serve as a covert weapon in a hypothetical conflict, O'Rourke dismissed any such speculation with a succinct response, quote, not really their lane. Thank you for watching Dark Seas. For more amazing stories about warships from around the world and the blistering battles they participated in, subscribe and ring the notification bell. And don't hesitate to check out the rest of our Dark Documentaries channels. We publish regularly, so stay tuned.